there's only one legal whiskey distillery in Iceland. Amber Distillery. Come on. Even if Ambrick wasn't the only place around with true Icelandic whiskey, it would still be a required stop for any spirit lover in the area. When we were there, it was our host Paul's birthday, and he definitely made us feel like we were part of the party. He kept both the drinks and the stories flowing as he led us through the history of Icelandic alcohol, as well as the company's personal journey. Ambrick goes full tilt on the Icelandic traditions. Their boar gin has been triple distilled in a pot still, and their botanicals mix went through over 150 different experiments before landing on the nine local ingredients they use today. And the gin isn't the only thing with a local edge. Since Iceland doesn't have layers of peat like Scotland, they burn something a little more interesting when smoking the barley in their young malt. The sheep dung is my favorite so far. Their sheep dung smoked reserve is a truly one of the kind product. In addition to the gin and the whiskey, they also produce an Icelandic aquavid, or Brennivin. I sampled them all, you know, for science. Of course you can both. I mean, why not? <laughs> and since Ambrick is still a relatively young distillery, and whiskey has to age at least three years in barrel, Iceland has only had an official whiskey for a few months. We got to taste some from the fifth barrel produced on the island. Both Ambrick's single malt and young malt carry the name Floki, who aside from being a historically inaccurate character on the show Vikings, is also widely known as the discoverer of Iceland. As legend has it, he set three ravens loose from his ship. Only one of the three didn't return. So that was the one he followed, hoping that it didn't return because it had found land, and not just because it was, you know, like mad at him or something. Ainfric has taken a similar leap of faith with their whiskey, and people are flocking to taste it, which makes its tours a great place to meet people from all over the world. And isn't that one of the best parts of traveling? We made new friends! We made new friends! <laughs> tours are by appointment only, and since it's a little bit out of the way, you might need to take a bus to get there. But just like Iceland itself, it's a discovery definitely worth making. Gold.